Huh? What are you doing in my swamp? Hello everybody, this is Ogre Boy, and I'm going to be doing my review for the 1972 movie, Snoopy Come Home. <clears throat> so, in this movie, when Snoopy receives a letter from his original owner, Lila, he goes on goes to visit her in the hospital while Charlie Brown and the gang are on the lookout for him. Suddenly, Snoopy feels that he must go live with Lila and must say goodbye to all his friends. In his adventure to the hospital, he encounters numerous no dog allowed signs and an annoying girl who desires to keep him in it and more. Um, this movie is a lot of fun. It's been one of my favorite Peanuts things ever since I was a kid. It was maybe even my introduction to the Peanuts. Um, but I, I just absolutely love this movie. It's a really, really fun movie and everything. It has some really great songs by the Sherman Brothers and everything. I, I love the, the music in this movie, especially the Me and You song. I, I don't know exactly what that one's called, but it's one that this plane is uh, Snoopy and Woodstock go on their adventures. It's just a really catchy song. And, and there's a part in the movie where Woodstock is whistling it, which is probably my favorite part in the whole movie, where they're cleaning up their camp and everything, and he, he's whistling it, and uh, Snoopy's playing an instrument and stuff. It's just a really fun little moment and everything. And there's just a lot of fun moments. Snoopy and Woodstock have always been my favorite parts of the Peanuts stuff and everything ever since I was a little kid and this movie focuses on them so this is naturally one of my favorite things of theirs um, <clears throat> and everything and it has some good emotional moments too and stuff like when Snoopy goes back to say goodbye to Charlie Brown and the gang and, gang and everything and let them know what's going on before he goes to live with Lila it's really sad and everything they have this really sad going away party for him and it's kind of kind of depressing and everything and uh, Charlie Brown is worried about Snoopy the entire movie and everything and like when they have to say goodbye to each other and everything it's just really sad and everything but it doesn't last very long because like I mentioned uh, about the no dogs allowed signs uh, the reoccurring joke throughout the whole movie was that Snoopy would get kicked out of different places because there were no dogs allowed and he finally and he gets mad every time he gets kicked out of places he finally gets to Lila's apartment and there's a no dogs allowed sign there and he, he's like all really excited and stuff he, he says his goodbyes to Lila and that even has a little bit of an emotional moment to it too and then he goes back to live with Charlie Brown and him as you would expect but um this is a really fun movie and everything. I, I absolutely love it and everything. And like I said, a huge part of it is because of Woodstock, which this happened to be the very first thing Woodstock was ever in. For some reason, I was thinking that it was the Thanksgiving holiday special, but it was this and everything. Uh, I got to say, this was a really great introduction to him and everything. He's been one of my favorites, char favorite characters from the Peanuts ever since and everything. And, uh, but I absolutely love this movie. It, it It is a blast, and it's the one Peanuts movie that I watched a lot as a kid and everything, and then I rediscovered it in my late teens and everything, and I hadn't watched it in a good uh, 11 or 12 years or so. It's been quite a while since I last watched this one, so I'm glad that it, it still holds up really well. It's really enjoyable. It's a really, really fun time and everything. It's got a good story. The animation is is really good. It's even better than it was in A Boy Named Charlie Brown and everything. You could tell they had a little bit of a higher budget and everything. Um, but the animation is great. And like I said, the songs by the Sherman Brothers are great. All of the songs are really catchy and stuff. But but yeah, I'd say I, I, I really enjoy Snoopy Come Home. It's a really, really fun movie. Uh, definitely one of the best Peanuts movies and everything, and it's one of my favorite animated movies. It's not a Disney movie, too, and everything. It's just a really, really good movie, and it might even be my favorite animated movie that came out in the 70s and everything, too, um, even over most of the Disney ones that came out in that time period, except for maybe the Mini Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, but yeah, th this movie is great, and I absolutely love it, so I'd give... Uh, Snoopy Come Home, a 9.5 out of 10. It's a really great movie and everything. It, it, it's 
really quick pace that it's only an hour and 20 minutes it goes by pretty quickly and everything it's but it's a really good time so I, I definitely would recommend it so anyway let me know in the comments what you think of Snoopy Come Home I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good day everybody